hanging out just north of Fulton with a guy you know well, especially if you're Oswego Speedway fan, Brandon Bellinger. <laughs> Hard to believe, man. He's 40 now. The clock is running there. He started racing back in the early 2000s in the Supers. Champion in 2022, second place last year. As you can see, he still has the wing on the 0-2 because uh, they finished the year last year at Evans Mills with Isma. First of all, how are you? How's the family? I'm good, and I just want to make a note. I still feel like I'm 22 just because I'm 40. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. I feel, well, feel real good. So You're good. So you're just as young as Kyle over here. Then. Yep, you pretty much. Same age. on the basketball court, and we'll see what happens, right? So I got a size advantage on him. So. That's right. You do have a few inches there, so just post it up inside. Exactly. Use that drop step. You'll be fine. <laughs> Tell me, you got off to a tough start, and it was it was just so tough to catch up, basically, after the first two nights. Yeah, last year, yeah, we definitely, uh, compared to our championship season, we got off to a real bad start. We had DNF the first night. I think we finished last place, and then we DNF the second night. So not a, definitely not a good way to start out the year. And I think overall we were probably lacking just a little bit of speed. You know, we had some good runs, and uh, unfortunately too many second places and third places, you know, um, so – but it's that year's over. It's a new year now. We get, we got new ideas, new rules, and we're we're planning on running faster. So yeah, we're gonna talk about the new rules. But I did want to. What exactly happened the first two nights? Then let's start with the opener. Uh, opening night there was a there was a car that had spun out, and I was just in a wrong. You know, I was right behind them when they spun out, and the, at that time, that part of the year the track is a little dirty on the outside. So if you that. try to move up to go around the car, like there's just there's no grip there really. So we just there was myself and a couple other cars ended up all collected, and I was I probably got the worst of it because I think the other guys were able to push away and at least run some more laps um oh so and, you didn't you were done at that point oh yeah we were done okay. our right front was all bent up yeah there was there was no keep going after that and then um the second, the second night. night the second night i forget exactly what happened yeah we dnf the second night too though we i mean it was a smaller field so it was it didn't hurt as much as the first night the first night was uh it was a big field that night and to finish last place on that was was not good for our points efforts but it's uh like i said i, th I think overall we probably lacked a little bit of speed you know to to run the way we should have run we just we just didn't run up to our potential so okay. but like i said it's a new year so we're starting over again and uh we're, we're planning on maximizing this year so had to be tough though because here you are defending champion and now you're two weeks into the season and in your mind you're already going geez i, I think we're not going to be able to do that again yeah that I, much... I mean I, I guess I, I didn't get too caught up at that point no. i mean there's still I, you're probably not thinking that much about the championship at that point you realize it's a tough road to go but there's still a lot of races, and it, you know we still want to win every single week that we can. So I mean, yeah, that that becomes the focus. You show up the third right. week, and you know we want to win. You show up the fourth week, we want to win. So that's mm -hmm. you know that that kind of consumes your attention. And then, you know, lo and behold, as the year moves on and the way things played out, we we did manage to get back to second the points, which I feel like the way we started the year was pretty respectable. But yeah, well, some people say that's almost easier sometimes because when you are running for a championship. Yeah. You have to stay out there when you're 17th and the car's not working and you are and you can almost get consumed by it. They say sometimes it's easier not to have to worry about that. Do you yeah. agree? Uh, well, I mean, you know, depending on how it goes, I mean, it, you know, like if you compare it to two years ago, I mean, it was, there's no way around it. You, I mean, the championship was on your mind, especially the way it came down, right down to the wire being yeah. tied going into the final race. Like there was, there was no way you couldn't think about it. But I guess at that point, it's just a matter of how you, how you respond to that. Cause obviously, I mean, there's pressure there. You can't deny it. It's just, how do you respond? Does it, does it get you flustered or do, do you, uh, uh, level up to what the expectations are and what the opportunity is. So, I mean, it's just from there, it's just how you handle it. Gotcha. I see we have the wing on the car. We finished at Evans Mills. That was a race a lot of people wondered, you know, is it going to be wide enough? How's it going to race? Everything I heard was, was people seemed pretty happy with it. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I had a lot of fun racing there. I know there was a lot, I feel like there was a lot of passes. I think, yeah, three um, wide at the line, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think, I believe Abel won that race and I think he started back further in the mm -hmm. pack. So he obviously made his way through the field. Um, uh, you know, for myself, I know I, there was a few periods during the race that I ran side by side with guys for a lot of laps. So I mean, I, I really felt like it was a pretty racy track. Nice. Um, f you know, for us, it it was a, a little bit of a new experience because we haven't run with a top wing in quite a while. So it was kind well, of last a, was the first time in a, it was in kind years. of our first real real full attempt at racing. So uh, to run to run as good as we did, I, we finished sixth place, and I was pretty happy with that at the time. And I I think there's a lot of room for improvement too. So when we go back, I know they're on the schedule again this year. I think we can we can run a lot better and, and uh, do better than what we did last year. That going to be your only winged race, or because we do have some winged races that are <laughs> yeah, still no, early? No, no, I think. Uh, I mean, uh, so Oswego is definitely going to be our main focus. You know, that's mm -hmm. our that's our priority and that's our home track. Um, but I think we can. There's some other wing races that I, you know, we're gonna. We got a couple other things we're gonna try to do to to be more competitive with the wing this year, and we're certainly gonna 
look at more of the races on their schedule as far as which ones we haven't really picked it gotcha. you know just it'll probably be something that you play um i don't know just kind of decide in the moment depending mm-hmm. on how your swiggo uh swiggo stuff is what is going because that, that's still going to be our main focus you know and i know there's series obviously right uh it's it's possible yeah oh, we know they haven't decided i guess i guess the oh, most people were going to do that five race series. for us i mean like i said a lot of it's just all going to depend on how how our swiggle okay. stuff is going that that's going to be our main focus still it, it always has been always and, and it's going to be again this year you know we we may uh plan on doing that like i said there's um we're going to try to do a few different things to to be more competitive with the wing as well and and I know there's a couple races even at the end of the year too that uh, I think there's one in North Carolina. It yes. sounds like they have North a pretty a yeah. pretty nice purse, and you know, it would you know it gets your attention. You know, when you start talking about that much money to win, so okay, and it's a new track too. So yeah, that's, absolutely that'd be a fun thing too. So the car, I was surprised to see it looking like it did when it came right off the track. But you told me you had freshened it up right before that last. Weekend. Yeah, so I mean, maintenance wise, we really try to stay on top of our maintenance all year long. So, like for us, when the year's over, we don't have to go through the process of stripping everything down and doing a total rebuild and replacing a lot of stuff. Like, it's in pretty good shape. Um, we actually had our engine out just before Classic and put new bearings in it, so our motor's in good shape. Um, you know, if we we haven't really done any work, truthfully, right now at this point. But if we had to race in two weeks, I mean, we could, we could absolutely be ready. Yeah. Nice. So once it's time to work, we go fast. Lots been made about the rule changes coming yep. up this year. It's an angle change on the tail wing is a big thing there. And also we have a right front tire that is a little bit different. It's a little taller, a little wider, I believe a little softer. But don't uh, go back to my Mike Silliman interview find out more about that. How big of a change is this with 10 being a huge change, one being hardly anything at all? Uh, it's I, I could probably tell you after I go out for the first time, it's mm-hmm. it's difficult for me. Like the wing angle change, I don't I don't really have a way to quantify that. You know, if you yeah. if you can go to a wind tunnel and see different numbers, you know, it, I, I couldn't really can't tell you what up here in the garage. We can't. Do uh, that. I mean, yeah, I, <laughs> get some string and a yeah. the old fashioned way ball yeah. yard and some tape, yeah. right? <laughs> we could we could probably uh, attempt it. I don't know. I don't know how <laughs> accurate it would be. It might not be too worthwhile, but yeah, I, I think at this point you just got to have an idea. Like obviously with the right front tire, you're probably going to add some front grip. Uh, so. You're going to lose some rear grip so somehow you need to balance your car out whether you do it with springs or weights or nose wing or you know there's a lot of different ways to do it shocks Mm -hmm. so it's you know you just gotta kind of have a plan and and look forward to get some track time so you can kind of run through some of your ideas on what what's going to be the best way to balance it out we had camden proud on earlier today i put this up monday night right after we got home so listen to that for those practice dates so in theory then knowing you're going to turn in better and you're going to be a little maybe tail happy without that extra, what would be a move that you would do right away and be as specific as you want to be that you know would at least get you going in the right direction? Do yeah, take I mean, away some stagger? Uh, yeah, probably we... right off the bat, that'd be one of the first things to just cut the stagger down. We were like, for us, for us specifically, we were probably always on the high side for needing a lot of stagger to make our car turn. So, I mean, it's, it, that's probably one of the first things we can do is cut it, you know, just cut the stagger down and, and see maybe that's enough. Maybe it's not enough. I, mm-hmm. I'm, uh, that's that's one of those things you almost just have to wait and see and and see you know if how, how much how much that uh, downforce change is gonna is gonna mean on a race car. So, so do you come in the first night picking championship, or you come in the first night going let's just do the best we can and, and let let everything happen from there? How do you uh, approach it being I, a former champion? I I think I mean I don't know. But, I think I go into every night thinking I want to win that race, you know, it's, you know, so more, the, more it, the moment than the, yeah, it's, it's in the moment. I mean, you're always thinking of like, if, if you can't win, well, the next goal should be finished second. If for some mm-hmm. reason you think you can't finish second, well, you should go for third. So, I mean, okay. you know, when, when we start the year, that's, that's, you know, we want to win races and that, you know, there's, I don't, I don't know if there's 10 races on our schedule, but not to sound greedy, but you want to win them all. Is well, that sure. realistic? Probably not, but you're going to you're gonna try your try your hardest and make it happen. I appreciate you guys having me out tonight. And yeah, like absolutely. You said, uh, the car, like I said, I was surprised to see it the way it is, but it looks like they're in pretty good shape with a motor that's got, what, maybe 300 laps on it, maybe? Yeah, probably that about that. So, yeah. uh, so you're in good shape to make it the whole season, you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, if, I guess, I guess, depending on how the season goes, you know, if we have a, if we have a week leading into some of the big races, you know, maybe we'll decide, hey, let's take it out, let's make sure the bearings right. are good, take so the pan off and see. Yeah, okay. So it's we, we play it by ear all the time. Going for a championship. If he gets it this year, it would be two out of three. Thanks again for having me, guys. Turn on the notifications. Uh, uh, Make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Anything like that if you'd like. Big thanks to Garofalo's Importing. When you're up in town in Oswego, make sure to stop for them and get everything you need to grill up that weekend. Nice to see you again. You take care. Sounds good. Thank you.